called the Better Alphabet. And the reason that you're going to want to peek at that is it is a literally a magic pill way to get letters and sounds, and by letters and sounds I mean individual letters and sounds, into the heads and the mouths, lips, tongue, and teeth of your early grade learners in two weeks to two months and you're done, finished, over. So that simultaneously to that, you can actually be tossing out other things. And this whole base of, of skillability can be built, as opposed to maybe spending a letter a week or even spending six months teaching, you know, kids who just want to lick the carpet a K. Because, it, you know, in kinder, that's half your battle, is being more interesting than a shoe or the carpet. But if you tap into muscle memory, which is what this does, if you tap into muscle memory, it's a completely different world that you're dealing with. That's the whole focus of what we're going to talk about today, actually, is looking at things going through the back door instead of the front. Looking at how we do things now, seeing what boat that puts us in, and then looking at what the brain science tells us we can do that easily help us fly over these hurdles that we've been fighting for years. So one of those hurdles is in early grades, and one of those hurdles is letters and sounds, especially with those lowest of the lowest, youngest of the youngest learners. And this is a simple way to just make that click. And then you have time carved out to parallel that skill base with everything else they need. Because to, let's be honest, you know, you can't do much with a T that says T. Because T doesn't almost ever say T. <laughs> if you really think about it, you know, you need the whole code to do almost anything with it. So those individual letters and sounds, those are great, those are nice, but you don't get much bang for your buck with them. You, you really don't. You need everything pretty much to do anything, and you want as much as you can get as early as possible, but you don't want to be developmentally inappropriate.